What is up everybody, welcome to this new video of TechExpress. I'm going to be showing you how to use the Jotme uh, application, really really great app uh, to make some reviews products inside your actual store. So the very first thing you want to do in order to check it out how this actual application works is to actually do some dropshipping. So what I want to do um, actually is just to add a really really quick product here. I'm going to go into add my product here because what I wanted to do is to use Jotme with an actual title, with an actual product that I do have available here so I'm gonna go for it let's go for it. show the example here the description should be something like much more easier let's say for example like that so once you have a product already been added here this is the part when we actually wanted to get started with the actual judgment so um, if you don't know how to find it really really quickly what you wanted to do is to go into applications and here let's go into recommended apps or you can go into the apps and sales channel settings in my case I wanted to go here into add applications so this one should be taking me into the picture for you and by default we have the print fold we have page fly and we have the judge me because there are like three of the most popular uh, applications if you can find those I'm gonna screw all the way down so I can find the Shopify app store so I can click here and then later on what I wanted to do is to click into the search bar and type judge so this is a product review even from photos so as you can see we do have this version of the product reviews this one has five stars and 15,000 downloads so what I want to do is to click here and then later on I'm going to hit into add application the process is actually really really simple so once you do grant the access from Shopify into JudgeMe I'm going to hit into install application the actual app is going to be added automatically so the next thing that we wanted to do here is to get started with the install of the widgets on so i'm going to click here as you can see it says try to keep the original uh theme name your theme name will speed up for the installation process we have the current live theme and the unpublished theme i'm going to go for my current live theme now i'm going to go for next and then here is going to be uh, this house going to be looking our actual installing other widgets. So the review is going to be appearing down here. It's going to be appearing at the left, uh, the right part of the product, and of course at the bottom part. If you are okay with that, get into install the widgets now. So here we have now the will try to install the widgets to your theme automatically. I can go back into my store here into Shopify. Now let's go back into uh, online store here into sales channel. So here, as you can see, I do have is this actual theme, it's called Dawn. So I don't have anything already been edited, but here I just want to go into customize. So once I'm here into customize, I wanted to actually make sure that my product has the actual element that we have just added from Yatch. So as you can see, here is what product. I'm going to click into this product, for example, here. And here's gonna be looking at my actual product. As you can see, we don't have any reviews here. We don't have added any product from the uh, judge.me. So uh, how can we enable this? Let's go back into our actual uh, section from judge.me. It says, are you happy with how everything looks? We've inserted widgets into down theme, but you can check out. So as we just saw before, uh, we don't see the actual installation and this happens a lot. So what you want to do, you don't have to worry about that. Go back into your editor section of your theme and here what I want to do is to look out for app embeams. This logo, this element, here it should be appearing the core snippet. So you want to enable this core snippet and automatically now it's gonna be appearing here. I'm gonna hit now into save and automatically here it's gonna be appearing your actual new element. So what I want to do is to go into the three dots, hit into view and hit into the catalog so I just want to make sure that my product has now been enabled the product reviews so I'm going to scroll all the way down and as you can see here it says customer reviews uh, zero be the first to write a review so as you can see the process of doing this is really quick so there's actually two ways that we can start by adding customer reviews the very first and obvious is just to start to make some sales and then later on you can ask people to write a review so you can get more and more reviews with photos and more, more of that but I can totally suggest to you that before you have your live store you can add your own reviews Let's say for example like the first uh, I don't know maybe the first one two three four uh, reviews with photos so people can start to trust into your actual product so I'm gonna get down here into Shopify I'm gonna go actually back let's go back here to the application actually which says apps judge.me 
let's go into the home section. And here we have the home page of the actual judge.me product reviews. So uh, just wait a few seconds here until this one has been already been imported. Now uh, I'm going to go here and scroll all the way down and find the actual element that says import reviews. Now here into the import reviews, what you can do is to choose a file where you have the name, the last name, the review, the photo of the person who actually make the payment, who actually make the order, and then you can just import this automatically. But if you don't have any of that, you want to do this like a little bit more, um, let's say manual, you can always go back into the home section once again. And here, what I want to do is to look out here for the add review widget. We have done this already. So what I wanted to do now is to try to do this manually. So instead of just importing reviews, I can request an actual review or I can create an actual review. So this uh, actually just requests time from, let's say for example, that somebody has just uh, buy my product. So what I want to do is just to import the sender name, the email, um, they're currently using here the request timing, uh, the request, the request BB product. So uh, this guy is going to be receiving like an, an email that says, "How do we do here? Please review." Like when you make a payment into Amazon, of course, there's some, some sometimes they are going to be asking you for the product review. So this is exactly what we actually do inside the actual Judge Not Me. So now, if you go into the manage reviews into the left part. Here it should be appearing the reviews that people have done into your actual product so you can improve those or delete the one that you don't want to see into the actual into your actual website. So focus into the upper side that says add a review. And here I'll say for example they're gonna add the name Steven. Let's go for something like this. The rating five stars, review title, let's go for absolutely amazing. And here into review body, let's go for I love this product, a hundred percent awesome, right? Uh, at the moment, I don't have any review pictures, so I'm going to just leave it like that. I'm going to hit now into submit, and then as you can see, I'm going to just try to reload my page once again, so I can see these actual review that we have just created in here. So as you can see, this is how it's going to be looking. As you can see, here's the status, the published, the administrators, the hide, the different actions that you can choose. And just to make sure that this product, that this actual rating review is into my actual website, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to reload the page. And now as you can see, I'm going to scroll a little bit up. I'm going to go here into publish once again to make sure that this one has actually uh, been published. And it's actually really, but really, really, really important to, first of all, before you add a review, to add the product search here. So in my case, this is a cleaning brush here. So I need to choose this option and do exactly the same process here. I love it. Review body. I love this product. So this is the reason why this one does not, this did not appear into the actual store because as you can see, it says wrote a review about your shop. So I don't want a review about my shop. I want a review about this particular product. So as you can see, it says review about cleaning brush, published, go back, reload the page. And now you should be seeing here, I'm going to scroll a little bit down, be seeing the one review. So I click here, I have the one review, I click them. And there we go. Here we have my most recent uh, review product here to judge.me. So this is how we can get to out here into judge.me. This is a really, really great tool to get more uh, tips, to get more confidence for our actual um, followers, for the people who are getting inside here, our actual store. So hopefully guys, it was a pretty useful video for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools of these amazing apps from Shopify. Thank you once again for watching the video guys. See you next time.